Rwanda can boast of beautiful wildlife, amazing landscape, booming economy, and some of the most beautiful women on the continent of Africa. Its capital, Kigali, is considered Africa's cleanest city. But Rwanda has not always been this amazing. Before Rwanda was beautiful, it was like this. Rwanda is a small landlocked country with population of about 12 million people with the Hutu majority and minority Tutsi and Twa people all considered as siblings. These three siblings lived in harmony through a defined social structure until 1916 when a great evil befell the nation, Belgium. Rwanda was colonized by Germany in 1884 and by Belgium in 1916. Tension in Rwanda began to heighten among the two main ethnic groups as it always starts in Africa with the influence of a western country. Belgium through colonization created divisions amongst a rather harmonious family relations breeding tension and segregation. By 1959, the tensions had turned into a coup d'etat which saw the overthrow of the ruling Tutsi government by the majority Hutu. This bloody coup left many people dead as the new Hutu establishment championed an anti-Tutsi regime. Most Tutsis went into exile including the parent and their two-year-old son. This little two-year-old boy later became known as Paul Kagame. Paul Kigame grew in Uganda, became a soldier, and helped the then Museveni take power through a coup d'etat to become president of Uganda. Paul Kigame later joined the Rwandan Patriotic Front in the early 1990s and became its leader when his friend and leader died in battle. Rwanda Patriotic Front then was a group of exiled Tutsis and a few Hutus who sought to fight for the peace and unity of Rwanda. In 1994, following the killing of the then president of Rwanda, Javier Rimana, a genocide erupted and within a short period, an estimated 500,000 to 1 million Tutsis and few Hutus and Tuars were killed within a hundred days. The genocide ended in 1994 after the victory of the RPF over the government forces backed by France. The fortunes of Rwanda has changed drastically since the genocide in 1994, all due to this man, the leader of the RPF, Paul Kagame. Paul Kagame became the president of Rwanda in the year 2000, even though it was widely speculated that he was the de facto president between 1994 and the year 2000. However, he inherited a collapsed economy that was seen as one of the worst in the world. A collapsed economy with high illiteracy and infant mortality rates, diseases and extreme poverty as a result of years of fighting and corruption. The visionary Kigame and his team set up the Rwanda Development Board which drew a development plan called Vision 2020. Vision 2020 sought to develop Rwanda into a middle income country by the year end 2020 which he has achieved through his able leadership the country ranked 143rd in the world bank's dream business report in 2009 and by 2019 rwanda sat 29th on the list ahead of spain russia and bitter france the 2017 corruption perception index ranked rwanda the third least corrupt country on the african continent behind the seashells and Botswana. Rwanda being the 29th easiest place to do business in the world was as a result of good leadership and governance by President Paul Kigame and his team. In 2018, the Rwanda Development Board registered over 2 billion worth of investments. Rwanda's GDP per capita in 1994 
was 146 US dollars. In 2017, it stood at 774 US dollars and it's, it was projected to have reached around approximately 820 dollars by the end of 2018, according to International Monetary Fund. Today in Rwanda, there are no Hutus, Tutis or Twa people. The only people living in Rwanda are the beautiful Rwandan people. We salute Pocky government for bringing stability to Rwanda and also standing his grounds against imperialism. A true visionary. And to the beautiful people of Rwanda, we say thank you for giving Africa such an illustrious son. Thank you.